Now more online at DragonHouseMMA.com or follow us on Twitter and Instagram at DragonHouseMMA. There's also a Facebook page under the same name if any of you are still on Facebook. All right. Last up, now that the way is clear, our 170-pound amateurs in the blue corner, the Matador, Giovanni Amador Rosales. His opponent, the money man, Carlos Maturana. Ladies and gentlemen, our featured amateur bout. And here is John Rigby. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, we're going to make a 10 count. We're going to have a 10 count to honor one of MMA and boxing's fallen legends, Pops Wald Garvalo Sr. We're going to mark the one year anniversary of his passing. He spent 50 years, 50 years as a trainer in MMA, boxing, and kickboxing, and was the great Javier Mendez's trainer. So please join me in a 10 count of silence to honor his memory. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. These fighters weighed in at 170 pounds. First up in the blue corner. He's 26 years old and is undefeated in amateur mixed martial arts with a record of three wins and no losses. He fights for AKA in San Jose. He is Giovanni the Matador, Amador Rosales. And in the red corner, fighting out of the Dragon House. 25 years old, also, also undefeated in amateur MMA with a record of two wins and no losses. He is Carlos the Money Man Maturana. I love it. Carlos the Money Your referee Man, for this fight is John Toll. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, please disable the flashes on your devices if you're recording. That's if awesome. you don't know how to do it, ask the nearest 12-year-old. John Toll, our referee, and this is our featured amateur bout of the evening, brought to you by Bob First, NorCal Fight Shop, MMA Raw, and made possible by Bright Path Video. Carlos Maturana and Giovanni Rosales, and we are underway. Both fighters undefeated. Oh, nice overhand right lands by Maturana. Follows, Maturana follows it up. Looking, with for a, a, looking for a takedown. He's got that single. Now, both of these guys are very good at uh, striking. We haven't seen too much grappling from either of them. Uh, it's interesting to see that Maturana is going for that takedown right off the bat. Maybe he's seen some uh, holes in uh, Giovanni Rosales' game. Maybe. That was a nice knee to the body by Rosales, though. Looks like he's trying to go back to that single. Ankle pick here. He got the single. That's a very nice single. But he's Rosales, looking for that sweep. Rosales looks like uh, he's just really athletic. He's uh, he's really flexible, really athletic. Just uh, He's doing such a nice job of defending that takedown of Maturana. Now he's looking for a guillotine. Uh, Maturana doing a nice job of defending. Giovanni Rosales recently won a welterweight bout at Bay Area Combat in Vallejo, California. He's now the number one contender for the welterweight title at Bay Area Combat. Owned by Steve Barnett. Nice one-two lands by Rosales. And, uh, 
Looks like we got a little bit of blood on the forehead of Giovanni Rosales. Nice leg kick lands by Maturana. Oh, that was hard. Maturana does a really nice uh, job in general of masking his kicks with his punches. He'll throw that one, two, or even just a jab because he's got long arms. Yeah. Standing at five foot 11, uh, he does a nice job of masking his kicks with his punches. And uh, you know what? I would have to give this round 10-9 to Carlos Maturana. And uh, I almost wish that Maturana had another fight under his belt just so that this could be a three, three minute round fight with no shin pads. Yeah, that was a great round by both, uh, both fighters. Uh, very evenly matched that round. Uh, it's going to be a very hard round for the judges to, to, to score, but I will give that a 10-9 favor of uh, Carlos Maturana. Seems like the little more aggressive, uh, aggressive fighter of the two, but uh, let's see what Robbie has to say about that. That's a tough round to call. Um, Giovanni was had a lot of control in the cage with that front headlock, but Carlos, he pursued the takedown. He kept going, he kept pushing the pace. He landed a big shot in the first round. Um, I'm gonna give that one to Carlos, 10-9. Couldn't have said it better myself, Robbie, but we will see what the judges have to say about that. Once again, everybody, welcome to Dragon House 28. We are here in the heart of San Francisco, California, at Keys Law Pavilion. The day is March 24th, and uh, we have a thousand, thousands of people in attendance today. Sold out crowd, exciting fights going on today. Right now, we have Carlos Monterano and Giovanni Rosales, our amateur main event of the evening, uh, going into round two. Again, shout out to NorCal Fight MMA for the very best social media coverage of both professional and amateur mixed martial arts in the Bay Area. Visit NorCal Fight MMA on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And with that being said, round number two is officially underway between Carlos Money Man Maturana and Giovanni Rosales. And you know, I'll tell you something about both of these fighters. They both absolutely have the potential to go pro. And uh, I think at this point, it's just a matter of time for both of them. Because uh, look at the way they move. They move like they, uh, they're they comfortable in there. They know what they're doing. They have the skill set. I think at this point, it's just a matter of uh, experience, you know, cage time, and uh, just refining their skills before either of them go pro. But it's definitely possible for both of them. Definitely. A lot, a lot of taunting going in. <laughs> a lot of taunting by both fighters. Looks like they're gonna brawl for, for a couple seconds there. Yeah, there's a lot of talking going on in there. Nice knee to the body just landed by, uh, by Rosales. Both of these fighters very scrappy. Oh, nice overhand right lands. And you'll notice uh, Giovanni Rosales fights out of AKA. A lot of their guys are great in controlling the clinches, whether they're throwing knees or uppercuts or elbows. From the clinch. Giovanni seems very comfortable clinching up and landing strikes. Yeah, very well known kickboxing uh, academy. But the only drawback of clinching up in amateur fights is that you can't knee or elbow to the head. But uh, I'm sure Giovanni could do it if he wanted to, if he was allowed to. Oh, Giovanni looking to tee off. Nice flurry of punches lands by Giovanni. So far, Giovanni controlling the uh, the octagon, or the cage, rather, in this uh, second round. Yeah, nice knee to the body landed by Rosales. <laughs> Look at the smile of Giovanni Rosales. He's having a great time. <laughs> having a great time. That's awesome. <laughs> That's just awesome. Rosales good. Yeah. yeah. Maturana is, too. And there are 10 seconds to go in round number two. And now Maturana's teeing off here. But there's not much time left in this fight. This is why this Very is exciting second. the amateur main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. What a great round that was. Another very hard round for these judges to score. Let's hear what the Robbie has to say about this one. That last round is going to be hard to call because of the fact that it was a trade of back and forth. And that last 10 seconds, they both pushed it. And they both started throwing big shots. I'm gonna give that round to Giovanni. He landed the biggest shots at the end, and he controlled. Yeah, I would have to agree. I would have to give that round, uh, although it was close, I'd have to give it to Giovanni, just because he was controlling uh, the center of the cage. Carlos spent more time backed up against the cage. Uh, but you know what? It all comes down to this third and final round. 
in our featured amateur bout of Dragon House 28. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, these are not the official scores. Uh, these are just commentators uh, giving our point of view, our uh, perspective of the fight as it goes on. So uh, we'll see what the judges have to say at the end of the fight. The cage door is locked and both fighters have a smile on their face as we get things going for round number three in our featured amateur bout of Dragon House 28. Brought to you by MMA Raw Images, Bomb First, NorCal Fight Shop, and made possible by BrightPathVideo.com. Oh, nice uppercut. I need to see Maturana landing some more of those leg kicks. He was having success with them in the first round, and uh, he didn't really throw too many of them in the second round. You know, it's, uh, it's interesting to see these fighters fighting at 170 because uh, both of these guys have fought at 155 in their previous two bouts. That, you know, that might come from the weight cutting. Uh, maybe they both had difficult uh, time cutting to that 155. Yeah, they just so, agreed on 170. Exactly. If they both walk around the same. Giovanni's saying there's an eye poke. The referee says keep going. Nice knee to the body, the body by Rosales. What a slugfest. Somebody's dropped that mouth guard here. I believe it's Maturana. Yeah. Uh, I saw some teeth when he was uh, close to us. Now Rosales has Maturana in a front, almost a front headlock position. Oh, spinning back fist misses, and the referee's going to stop the fight so that Maturana may put his mouth guard back in. There's less than a minute to go here in this third and final round. Wow, what a fight. What a performance. Both fighters uh, slugging it out here in the third round. A little bit of blood on the face of both fighters. Yeah. And uh, I think he wants to wash his mouth guard off. Yeah. This has got to be one of the most exciting fights for me to see so far this evening. These guys are just toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight, back and forth. And that's um, really saying something after the, uh, the Escolta fight. Yeah, definitely. And there's now blood on the table. Ten seconds to go in the last amateur fight of the evening. And they are swinging for the fences. I might have to give this round to Rosales. And they're still swinging. Now we got a little stare down, and they hug it out. That is what the sport of mixed martial arts is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Carlos Maturana and Giovanni Rosales will go the distance. What do you think about that last round there, Robbie? So... I'm gonna think. I'm thinking the. I'm thinking the judges are gonna give this to Giovanni. Um, he landed the. He landed more strikes. He controlled the cage. Like all that kind of stuff. T-shirt <laughs> representing the uh, Golden State Warriors. Absolutely, absolutely. Right here in the city, in the, right here in the city of San Francisco, ladies and gentlemen. Dragon House 28. You have just witnessed. The amateur main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, our judges have rendered a unanimous decision. Unanimous decision. The cards read as follows. 29 to 28, 29 to 28, 30 to 27 in favor of the winner in the blue corner, Giovanni the Matador, Abadol Rosales. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to agree with that. That was a very good fight. Uh, Rosales did do enough, however to get that decision. Um, but hats off to both of these fighters. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, Marcelano did a great job in there. We uh, are going to take a 10 minute intermission no to switch uh, over from amateurs to pros. I'm very sorry. Warriors, man. That, that but it does fight. give you a chance to meet our sponsors in the back. We have Bomb First, NorCal Fight Shop. Looks like we'll be taking a 10 minute. And some delicious agua fresca from I can't read your shirt if you come a little closer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll have a 10 Root juice.